fantasy check-in on the LA Clippers over the last couple of weeks. The rooster, Danilo Gallinari, continues to have an excellent season. The 15th ranked player over the last two weeks, nobody would have expected that. He was a guy going outside the top 100, not only for injury concerns, but the fact that he struggled last season for the Clippers. But his shooting, which was way off last season, is back up at a high level. If you can sell him for any sort of top 40 player, I would do it. But selling high on Gallinari doesn't mean getting back Thad Young. It doesn't mean getting back a guy ranked in the 80s, Boyan Bogdanovich using paces guys here. Uh, that's not what it means because he's putting up these strong numbers and if he gets hurt, oh well. But if you can get sustained top 40, top 30 type value from whoever you get back from Gallinari, that's a huge win. It's tough to execute, but we've seen you know, three months of the season where he's been healthy and really productive. Lou Williams is back from his hamstring injury. He's uh, back in business, 20 points per game in only 22 minutes. The usage is sky high, 35%. That'll probably dip, as will the 57% efficiency, so he won't remain at this level. I'd expect a bit of a drop-off from Lou down to the 70s or 80s in ranks. While Montrez, the table, Harrell, had been out of the top 200 for a couple of weeks because he was really struggling. The shoulder looks fine now. He's back in the top 100, 16 and 6, 1.3 blocks, and that massive field goal percentage. The free throws are still a concern for Harrell, but that little slump that he had, we're, we're back in business there. Gilgis Alexander, um, outside the top 150 recently, I do believe in him long term, but Patrick Beverly, Avery Bradley, these guys aren't going away, Lou Williams, and it's probably going to put a cap on what Shea can do, so in a 10-team league, I don't think you need to hold him, and in a 12-team, I'd be okay moving on, assuming you're grabbing someone who makes more sense, not Austin Rivers. Um, Patrick Beverly, Avery Bradley, these aren't 12-team league guys. And, of course, Boban and Marcin Gortat also aren't. Ty Wallace is a name to watch if a couple of injuries do strike this Clippers uh, backcourt and wing rotation. He puts up numbers when he gets a chance. There's just not enough playing time for him there at the moment. 